Hey guys, how you doing? Locks and load here. All right, in today's topic video, we're going to be learning how to properly clean our handgun. I got my Taurus P2 9mm, no magazine, no rounding chamber, we're clear, we're good to go. Alright, so before we get started on that, there's a few essential items that you need when uh, you're about to clean your gun. So, starting off the list, we got some dirty rags. There's a lot of gunk and carbon buildup and all kinds of dirt inside the, your gun in the barrel and the springs between the slides and all the cracks and crevices in your gun there's a lot of dirt and that's why we're cleaning it so it's good to have some clean rags wipe your hands wipe your gun down keep your gun clean next it's not bad to have an old toothbrush around that you don't use no more these really come in handy when you need to clean your gun to really get in those cracks and crevices of your gun and to really clean it out really good, really good. Get all that build up and out of there so you don't have any malfunctions. Got us a bore brush to put down the barrel to clean the barrel out to get all that carbon build up out of there. Got some bore cleaner. And finally, some WD 40 lube. All right. So, we're going to disassemble our gun, and we're going to start to clean it, and I'm going to show you guys the process that I use to clean my guns. Especially this one, because this is my carry gun. Now, I did a range session with it last week, and I've been kind of busy, and I really forgot to clean my gun. You need to clean your gun, especially right after you shoot. That's the best time to do it. But, you know, life happens. Sometimes we forget. And now, I'm doing it here and showing you guys. So, we're going to disassemble our pistol. Nowadays, most guns tend to be striker fire, and they kind of take down the same way, almost like a Glock. So you take your hand, pull back on your slide, take your two tabs right here, these tabs, and pull them back. Come forward, pull the trigger, and the slide comes off. Now you have your frame. Your capture recoil spring, dual recoil spring. Your barrel. And finally, your slide. <coughs> and this is a field stripped handgun. This gun is taken apart and is ready to be cleaned. So what I like to do first when I clean my gun take a rag and just wipe everything down you get all that gunk and everything off keep your fingers a little cleaner like I said before you really should do this after you get done shooting uh, this is on me this is my carry gun uh, and I've been slacking I should definitely clean this right out of got the range especially when your life depends on it but I guess that's also a good thing that your gun is that dependable that if you don't clean it after you go to range session, it's still going to work. So I guess there's that. But you definitely want to keep your gun clean at all times. Uh, if you just went to the range and, you know, let's say you forgot a day and now you're just sitting on the couch not doing anything, do like this. Pull up a table, watch you some TV, and clean your guns. You know, it might seem like it takes a while, but... Once you get in the groove, you know, time just kind of flies by and you forget about it. And finally the frame. Yeah, see, look at that. Dirty gun. If you're really, really thorough, like uh, a real hardcore gun person and you want your guns in top condition at all times, uh, what you can do is take a plain white cloth 
and give it the the white test I call it you go through your gun and if it's all white and it's all clean then you know your gun is thoroughly clean I don't necessarily go that far no that's that's something like I would do in the military but I don't think that's really necessary here I'm not I don't shoot this gun that much hey, like I was saying <clears throat> I don't shoot my carry gun that much but I do shoot often enough, uh, especially with the ammunition I carry. You know, yeah, I, everyone shoots ball, but you m want to make sure that if you carry, like right now, I have some Federal Hydro Shocks. I got some Hornady XTPs. Uh, shoot those hollow point ammunition in your gun to make sure your gun feeds that ammunition properly. You don't want to be in a situation where you just grab a box of hollow points thinking all of hollow points are the same all guns feed all kinds of ammunition and you just throw it in your gun and then in the middle of some hey bang failure to eject bang failure to eject bang failure to feed etc because your gun doesn't like that type of ammunition that you carry so don't want to get too off topic got a gun nice and clean Now, actually, clean out the bore of our barrel. Got ourselves our bore cleaner. I like to squirt a little bit in here. Not too much. Then we take our bore brush. And I like to clean it up. Get up in the grooves in there. You can feel the brush turning with the grooves in the barrel. Look down there. Try to see how clean it is. Try to get it in the light. All right. It's not too dirty. I didn't put too many rounds through it. All right. Uh, also, if you want, uh, you could take a piece of the rag, feed it through, pull out the other end, and then clean it that way. This rag might be a little too big, but if you had a smaller rag strip, you could put it in there, feed it through, and clean it out that way also. That's, no, if you didn't have your bore brush. So, that's that. Now, let me set this, set these rags up so I don't mess up my table with all this oil. So, got our WD-40 lube, but the lube up all our stuff. So this is another step of the cleaning process for me. I like to oil it down, then clean it, then wipe it down, and then finally add that last layer of lube over it. So go over everything. I'm not gonna do it too thorough, I don't want this video to be too long. But I want you guys to kind of see the gist of what I'm doing. Cleaning the feed ramp on my barrel, keep that nice polish. Try to get some grime or build up that's going around it. Because this right here is where all once you pull that trigger and that explosion happens and that round goes down the barrel, all that is happening right in here. So this part of the gun gets dirty real easily. So like I said, I like to lube it down, then clean it with the brush, then take my rag, wipe it all off again. Just 
trying to think of some stuff to talk to you guys about so it's not so boring. You're just not just watching me clean my gun. I don't know. I guess I'm a kind of boring guy. I don't know what to say. I don't have any jokes to tell you. you know, why the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Get the other side. Recoil spring. I really do like this Taurus handgun. It really fits that niche between a Glock 42, or I, I wouldn't say Glock 42, I would say, let's say a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 and a Glock 19. And this gun fits right in the middle of it where, you know, got my magazine with the pinky extension and so I can get that full grip but yet it's still small enough and light enough that it's not such a burden like the Glock 19 was when I was carrying it and finally the slide I do see now why a lot of guys complain about that manual safety because when I was doing those that workout drill in my last videos it really was kind of a pain in the butt a little bit to have to remember that safety because like I said I, I just came from a Glock so I had no manual safety and now I'm kind of having to teach myself how to remember that safety And sometimes when I draw too fast, you know, I kind of forget that safety. All right. So all our guns are cleaned of the lube again. And now, with the last bit of lube, I don't do too much. Just spray right here on the the barrel the lockings. Uh, I'm not 100% what it's called. Uh, I think it's called a barrel lock. I might be wrong. Uh, I'll look it up. But right on there where... Here in the frame, where your barrel sits, where it holds into place, I like to put a little lube there. Just like that. I like to put a little lube in there because there's a lot of moving parts you know, that happens. You got a miniature controlled explosion going off in your face. So, I like to kind of lessen that metal and metal contact, so to speak. I know it's polymer, but there are some metal in here and some steel. All right. Then, I like to dab a little on my brush. Because I'm going to take my brush and kind of spread it around not crazily but I'm gonna get in the the crevices right in here it would also be wise to have a cleaner brush but this one does the job well. It's not that dirty. I know it looks it like it is, but it's not that dirty. Recoil spring. You want to spread the lube all over it. Same with the slide. Wipe off any access lube on the side. Alright. So, now our gun is clean and now it's lubed. And we can put it back together again. See that barrel? Got a little too much lube on that. We got a, our dual recoil spring. Finally, our slide. Put it back on top. All 
All right, got a little lube on there. This is all right. Go ahead and just wipe that off. You don't want to put, you don't need a lot of lube. You don't have to like put it in a tub full of lube. Make sure your gun is properly lube, you know? Just a little bit, just to make sure everything slides smoothly. If you pow, everything slides smoothly. That guys is how you clean your handgun or I hope you enjoyed the video as always guys comment subscribe follow the channel please be safe and locks and load out